What's going on, wrestling fans, and welcome to the NXT In Your House Prediction Show. I am Steve Fall. Let's jump into some predictions. First, I predict they're not going to play that old 90s song they used to play before all the In Your House pay-per-views. In your house, in your house tonight. I'm just happy they're not going to play that, right? Right. Let's predict, though, one of the biggest matches of, of the evening. The North American Championship is on the line. Cameron Grimes versus Carmelo Hayes. Oh, boy. This one, I think, Grimes, it's time for you to run your course because Hayes is someone that I absolutely adore, absolutely love, and I think this is the time for him to rise to the top. So if he loses, then he's definitely going for the NXT World Championship. But if he wins, hell, man, I could see him on the main roster with Trick Williams on uh, the undercard of some pay-per-views defending that title. That's how good he is. So all in all, Grimes, I'm sorry. But you are going to lose. Where's he going to win? Uh, right, let's go with Grimes winning here. And uh, we can have Hayes eventually fight Braun for the NXT World Championship. Let's do that, okay? The NXT Tag Team titles are on the line. Pretty deadly. One of my favorites, favorite NXT UK Tag Teams with their half shirts and like their nipples hanging out. I don't know what's going on. But they're taking on the Creed Brothers. And the Creed Brothers do have potential, but they do not have the charisma as Pretty Deadly. I love that name so much. Whoever came up with that tag team name is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant wordsmith. Hey, you're very pretty, but you're also deadly. Do you get it? I can imagine the pitch meeting someone saying that. I have a great idea for a tag team. They're pretty, but they're deadly. Mm -hmm. And Vince is like, God damn it, I love it. Give them half shirts, my other nail. So I think Pretty Deadly will keep their NXT tag team gold here. But the World Championship is also on the line. Braun versus Gacy. Now, if Gacy wins the belt, I'll be shocked. Completely shocked. But also, it wouldn't surprise me that he wins, then Braun goes to the main roster because we've seen him already appear on an episode of Monday Night Raw a few times. He has what it is. He has the it factor. And NXT ratings are not doing that well, so it'd be smart to get all your great talent off of that brand now and put them on Raw and SmackDown before eventually NXT just goes back to being a Peacock original program because, you know, I'm not saying NXT is getting canceled anytime soon, but I'm not saying they're going to be bringing in, you know, big dollar signs anytime soon as well. So let's go with Braun winning. But at the same time, it'd be smart for Gacy to win so Braun can go to the main roster. That's just my prediction, but at the same time, Braun should probably win. These are terrible predictions, right? I'm like, he's going to win, but he may not win. But he could win, but he might not win too. No, terrible. Terrible. Toxic Attraction is defending their tag team gold against Caden Carter. Katana Chance. Toxic Attraction is winning. Like, I don't even have to continue with this video. We all know Toxic Attraction is one of the best damn things going in NXT right now. So, Toxic Attraction wins. A der. Der. Mandy Rose hanging on Wendy Joe. Another match where someone in pajamas is going to defeat Mandy Rose, one of the hottest, beautiful women in the world. Plus, she's dominating NXT. No. No. And, like, the day that Toxic Attraction lose all their gold is the day they end up on Raw SmackDown the next the next evening. So if they lose, if they all lose their titles here tonight, they're showing up at Hell in the Cell. Flat as they. So Manny Rose totally winning. We got a six man match though. I got I, I have my notes right here too on my phone. Um Tony Delangelo, I love it, with uh, uh stacks and two dimes. Taking on Santos Escobar and his goons. I think Tony Angelo, uh, Tony Delangelo, uh, Tony Delangelo, he's going to win. I can't do impressions. That was a terrible impression. I, I feel like I just offended every Italian person in the world. But probably Tony Delangelo is doing the same thing. So let's go with Tony winning with stacks and two dimes. Being Escobar and his crazy goons. But there you go, folks. I think NXT in your house is going to be a fun show. But I don't really see a lot of titles changing here. I think we're going to save that as we get closer to the summer months. But this still will be a fun show. It'll be a good show. And if any titles change, it will be the NXT Tag Team Gold. That's it. I already said Pretty Deadly will win, but out of the bunch, there's no way 
that all those titles are going to change. Tax Contraction is not losing. That'd be stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But thank you so much for watching my In Your House predictions. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the show, and I'll see you next time. Bye.